Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the podcast. Be, be your boy King Chemo. We got my brother in the house. What's going on, my dog? Glad to have me. I mean, shit. Ah, glad for you to have me here, man. Hey, today. there you go. There you go, man. It's all good, man. You know, when you get nice and toasty. You know, sometimes it just gets nice and toasty and shit. <laughs> yeah, it definitely do get toast, man. Like bread. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Well, anyway, man, we're, we're up in here just basically checking out this. This the, all this bullshit has been going on this week, man. I think we're going to just do a quick, quick run through recap of a few things. So first thing I want to start with and that we're going to we're going to really just kind of dissect a little bit will be, you know, there is there is. Um, I'm not sure where this happened. What, what did they say this happened at? It's Waffle House shit. Oh, I think this is in uh, Alabama, my bro. All right. So basically, yeah, Alabama. Like this, this cop basically almost raped this black woman in front of like just out there, just in a, in a waffle house. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead and play this clip. If you hadn't seen it, you know what I mean. Then you'll see it now, and we just want to warn you: it, this may be graphic and disturbing. So please, if you have a weak constitution. This is not something you want to see, and you might want to skip over the next minute and 34 seconds. Commence a video now. You didn't even see nothing. 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 You didn't even what, what, what? No, but that's not what you're gonna do to me. You're not gonna grab on me like that. No. Come on, Kiki, let's just go outside. Because he just come here and just grabbed on me like for no reason. I would say I was doing. Yes, he would have. I'll see this. 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 I'll
Yeah. You know, and that that's that's the horrible part. That's what that's that's what you know some some real white supremacists expect you to do. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm clear about what I'm saying. I said white supremacists. I did not say white white people. There's a big difference, huge difference. It's a humongous difference. So you can't you can't really just just sit there and um dissect this like this is you know me even commenting on this is racist. No, it's it's just simply for the fact that every single year they seem to get more and more brazen, more and more willing to to cross lines that were usually considered uncrossable um i do remember you mentioning to me earlier about how there was a time when if there was a female involved in some type of dispute they would then turn to to call another female officer in to deal with that female they weren't allowed to search a female yeah that was uh that was actually i don't know if that was standard protocol man but that was something that was highly highly sought after man anytime you know when it was a situation involved in it was only a male officer on duty and there was a female and if they needed to you know take her into custody or do a search whatever the case may be they made sure that there was a female officer to do that and if there wasn't then in some cases it would be inadmissible and they would just have to let them go on their way but you know, for the most part, man, there was a, a type of honor or at least dignity. What we just witnessed in this video was this woman was basically degraded to pretty much nothing. Like, she's already in clothes that she feels that she's comfortable to wear. So why would you make her feel un more uncomfortable wearing these clothes and trying to get her to comply? Um, there's always going to be that one side that says, oh, well... You know, if she was resisting, you know, had she just did what the officer just said, then mm. none of that would have happened. Or had she just, you know, not been talking that way to the officer, that wouldn't happen. And we, we've seen this thousands of times to where someone does comply or someone is not belligerent or they're just in a, a calm manner. And, you know, different methods of action are taken, you know, just to get them to submit to the way the officer wants them to do something man and unfortunately this is the law this is the way the law has been set up to where anytime you are asked to do something and you do not comply or you slow show the slightest bit of resistance then they can do whatever the hell they want to you man it's literally at that point it's up to the officer if they want to feel like they're a human treat you like a human being or they want to treat you like an animal that needs to be domesticated, man. So, like I said, watching this video was tough, man. Um, this is a very beautiful, attractive woman. And I shouldn't have to see her in that manner, you know. I wish I could have seen her in a different form, like maybe for artistic or something that's beautiful. Like maybe she's a, a model that posts nude, but not like this, man. Not like this, bro. No, not like this, man. You're right, man. I, I totally agree with you. You know, I, as a man, that's another thing. You know, um, there's probably a lot of guys that's like, oh, wow, look, look, titties and stuff like that. Like, you know, you know, at the same time, like, I know when you look at that video as a man, you're going to see that and be like, okay, you know, and, and, and what you got to think about is the, the shame is that, you know, that's out there now. She didn't choose for that to be out there. She was just out enjoying herself, having a good night. When she left the house and put on the outfit she had on, she had no idea that she had to consider whether she'd be thrown to the ground and wrestled this MMA style. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? And it took two of y'all? It took two of y'all to subdue one woman? Guess what? You know, y'all some bitch-ass niggas, though. Real talk. Boy. Like, and I can say niggas. Y'all can't say niggas. You know what I mean? Like, depending on how this shit gets edited. I said this shit earlier in another version of the podcast. But if I can't find that version, let me say this right now. We, as people, have taken that word back. It belongs to us now. Yeah. You can't say it. And when I say you, I mean you you white supremacists. You you are not allowed 
to speak those words in, in any kind of manner, whether it be positive, negative, um, in a reciting manner, you are doomed to either, you know, mute yourself when it comes up in the song. Nobody's saying don't enjoy the music. Enjoy the music. We enjoy the music. You know what I mean? But you're not allowed to say that word no more. Matter of fact, I give you permission to. It's more of I dare you at this point. You know, I mean, you want to touch on it real quick, bro? Uh, it's, a, it's at their discretion, man. You know, like uh, they feel that they're, you know, brave enough or it just that loose and calm to say that word as if it's just another word in the English language. Then who's ever around them? Uh, we can't necessarily speak for the consequences or the actions that may happen to them as follow. Um, I know there's a rapper out there named think jaron benton he's like uh an atlanta rapper and i remember going to uh a ritz concert one time with one of my old co-workers man and um ritz was performing and then i think jaron benton opened shout out the ritz oh big shout out to ritz man oh it's the uh you know north side man the whole whole movement man it's real big man shout out to strange music shout you know? out strange music yeah big time man big time man but um going looking at that situation that happened jaron benson was like all right you my fans i'm gonna do something for y'all tonight now my white fans where y'all at you know they it's like yeah you know letting themselves be known in the crowd you know it was, it was, it was the crowd itself was pretty much i want to say 70 percent white to begin with anyway dog what? Yeah, 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 man. So I mean, I'm you know just looking at the thing as a whole, or whatnot, man. Even though my old coworker, you know, he's a he's a white cat too, man. Real cool cat, man. But um, he was like, you know what? For my white fans, that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna give y'all nigga tickets. My show, what I'm about to perform right now, y'all can sing word for word tonight. Y'all got nigga tickets. And I'm sitting there to myself like, whoa. And then I look to my right. And like I said, I'm a coworker, man. It's cool as hell, man. Um, He wasn't rapping along. You know, he he had the, the sense and the courtesy and the respect and the dignity to remain calm, re- not feed into <laughs> whatever was baited out there to go along with this, you know, coonery or buffoonery man what yeah seriously dog so i just want to say touch on what you were saying yeah um i don't condone y'all using this word but um if y'all choose to quote unquote take nigga tickets upon yourselves then um then don't take a nigga ticket that your ass can't cash that's all i'm gonna say yes 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 i couldn't have phrased it any better nigga tickets are always on sale we're never sold out <laughs> We never sold out, yeah. you know. Yeah, but you gotta understand when you come to that show, it is like simulation of the world's most worst mosh pit, you know. And it's a real one-sided mosh pit. You don't want that. You don't. You don't really want that issue unless you're just one of those guys that are in the pain, you know. Then go ahead and do it. If you, if you just said, "Hey, I feel like getting punched in the face today," then go ahead and say it. <laughs> Well, we'll probably calmly just punch you in the face. I don't even think at this point we get outraged by it. It's just, we'll say, how dare you? It, it, it whoop your ass, and that's it. And it'll be over with, done with, you know. And, and next time you say, you, you got another nigga ticket, it's another show. <coughs> it's the big show, bitches. It's, it's the big show. It's the biggest show. Foot all up through the ass. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> man, could have said it better myself, man. Yeah. So that that was fun. That was a fun topic. Um, you know, it was definitely starting off on a darker, darker path. But you know, hopefully, you know, you're you're gonna sue the the police. You know, because that's that's basically what should naturally happen after this. You know, yeah. You know, I think anybody seeing that video would would. I mean, well, of course, I already heard that the police officer or the police no, the police department thinks that their officers were behaving lawfully and going going with protocol. So if protocol is stripping a woman down, and, and we'll, we'll just say this for the sake of saying it, had this been a dark alley, and she was out there by herself, and somebody called the cops, and 
they put her in the back of the cop car like she was and the titties out and stuff like that. Do you really think that for a moment that it wouldn't happen? Hmm. You know they would have found her, though. They would have found her breasts. Just we saw what could potentially happen. Hmm. And they let us watch and see what could potentially happen to any one of our beautiful black queens, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm mean, gonna be honest. I think sometime like two years ago, or maybe a year ago, I seen a video of a police officer raping a black girl in the damn jail. Like, so, so when shit like that's going on in the fucking jail, like, what, what you think's happening on the way to the jail? What, what you think's happening to, to you know? I mean, like, you just gotta really think about the situations that are, are black women, and and really just you know even women in general, but. But my focus is our black women because, you know, y'all, y'all out there fighting their fight with this, um, this Me Too movement. And what you gotta understand is like shit like this is happening to y'all right now. This could be you. This could be your home girl. This could be any one of y'all on a night the way y'all just lit at Waffle House. See, y'all wanted some cheese, eggs, and some motherfucking waffles. Yeah. You know, on a late night tip. I mean, nobody mad at you. You know what I'm saying? When you smoke the shit, you you gonna get the cravings for what you want to get the cravings for. But you know, at the same token, it's it's all about you know just being aware of, of everything like that. You know, um, just wish y'all the best, y'all. Wish y'all the best. Yeah, big ups, definitely. Prayers and thoughts with it, man. You know what I mean? Um, you know, stay beautiful. You know what I mean? Um, this doesn't make you any less of a woman. Nah. You know you you know, and you you carry yourself in a very dignified manner. From what I seen, and everything I seen on video, I wasn't once like look at look at this ghetto anything. You mm. know, none of that. Not even a thought that occurred. You can't. You had. You you did what you were supposed to do, and they didn't do what they were supposed to do. So fuck that shit. You know what I mean? Like like get your money because you should naturally sue. That's all it is. Just make that make this a quick paycheck, and uh, let's keep it moving. Let's let's do big things. You got anything else to say before we close out on that one? Um, real quick, man. It's funny in the corner. You see that video with the uh, white woman talking to the white officer? Yeah. That video shows white privilege at its finest once again. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 okay. And this is this kind of touches on this video, too, because this is a black woman that hasn't cussed. She hasn't raised her voice. She hasn't point or did anything in anyone's face. She's just simply trying to explain herself yeah. in Alabama. Now, as you uh, get ready to go into the next video, sir, this cop co-ties with each other, man. Uh... This is this is why you should tune into because you don't know where it's gonna go. We we had all plan. This is deviating from the plan. I fucking love it. We're going there and we're gonna check this video out right now. Hi, I'm Karen Turner. Hi, it's Nightmare. I'm a resident. Here you go. It's fine. We don't. I don't. I don't need that. Okay. It's fine. I'm you're, Karen you're Turner. To, you're just here as the rider, right? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm here as a concerned citizen and friend okay. of the mayor. Okay. and been in Tenafly for 20 years. I take full responsibility for them. And what is the reason they were pulled over? The driver has all the information. He'll tell you. No, 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 no. I need to know. No, you don't need to know. Okay. And we're not involved here. You're picking them no, up? No, no, no. I'm involved. Trust okay. me. Well, I'm, I'm not going involved. to tell you. He's the driver of the automobile. He's over 18. That's all you need to know. Um, Okay, okay. If you can... We don't need to see credentials. Okay, here. okay. We've I, you need already. A, you need a... If you can give me a little bit of space here. What Who seems is to this? be? Are you a commissioner? commissioner? I am a commissioner. One okay. of the commissioners, and I'm heading up. Do you have an ID for, with that? That is my ID, and that is my business card. I am the commissioner of the Port Authority, and I'm heading up over 4,000 police officers. Okay? So, if there's a problem, I think I have. There's no problem. Well, I think there's a problem. An unregistered vehicle. Okay, let's hear, what is, why were they pulled over, first of all? Miss. Now, don't call me miss, I'm commissioner. Thank you. Commissioner. Yes. All due why respect. were they pulled over? All due respect. Yep. Why the driver will tell you. No, 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 I need yes, to know. Yes, ma'am. The car's getting towed now. 
Why is the car getting cold? Go ask him. No, no. I'm asking. You're the person who ordered it. And trust me. Miss, this does not involve you 1%. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. Because I'm picking them up, and I'm offering to take responsibility for them, and you can't even tell me the charges. I'm also an attorney. So I think if you can't tell me, what is the problem? That's fine. Why is it such a difficult to just say why they're being pulled over and why the car's being towed? Because everything has already been explained. I know, but I know. Why, why, do you, why do you need to know? Because this is impacting me because I got four people who are coming back to my house, including people who live in New Haven attending Yale Graduate School, a Ph.D. student, and I don't know why it's so difficult to say what the problem is. This is impacting me. On Easter Sunday, I got to take four people I'll, I'll be honest, back to New I'll Haven. I'll be honest with you. So I may be frank you with you? Yeah, I want to know what the problem is. It's more of the way you just approached me and, the, and your demeanor. You know what? Okay. That's, I, I'm, I'm being honest I with want you. to know why. I, I just don't appreciate your demeanor. I don't appreciate You're being appreciate very demanding with me. No, I'm asking you, have, you a question, which is not being answered. But it doesn't need to be answered. It's irrelevant. Okay. You know what? If you'd like you to read my to... report, you can come down to the police department records on Monday, and you can get a copy of it. And you can I am under... Un... There is no... You have no I'm right sorry, to know what's going on. Is... No, I do. No. Explain to me why. Because these are four people that I have You're to take responsibility. Why do you have to take responsibility? They're all adults. That's my daughter. And she has... And she's these a backseat passenger. Friends. She's a backseat passenger. And there's a she problem with you describing it because you don't feel describing confident... What? Why, why these people are being pulled over. Your daughter over has not been and summoned. She was not the driver. This is not her vehicle. It's not your vehicle. I'm How sorry, are you involved? but this is not going to be... If you have a problem explaining what the problem is and why their car is being confiscated, then we have a problem. Why and trust you, me, why I will be in with the commissioner of what? police of Tenafly. Yeah. It take a step be. back. Take a step if back. You for can't me, even describe what take, the problem is. Take a step back for me. I can't move back any farther. I keep moving back farther, and you okay. keep moving closer to me. Because you can't can you even take a step back? put a sentence together a on what back. the problem is. Because I'm not because of the, your demeanor. No, I came I'm in under very no nicely. legal obligation to okay. tell you. And I'm under no okay. legal obligation to tell you what I will be doing. But I will. You can do whatever you okay. would like to do. We've been. She's been. Friend, you. This is a lawful motor vehicle stop. You are here to pick them up. Okay. Okay. There's going to be a report. Yep. The driver be has been advised of everything that's going on. Okay. I was there for your graduation when you guys came in, in the camp, and it wasn't that long what ago. What graduation? What are you talking about? Okay. Okay. What, what graduation Thank when you I came very much to what this it? piece and Catherine. Thank you for have your nice information day. and help. You know what? I hope you have a really nice holiday weekend, too, because you just ruined it for a lot of people. Without no, I, even I the decent thing. No, I didn't ruin anything. I'm yeah, doing did. my job. Yeah, you did. I, I would just this hope you being Easter, a commissioner this is their that you would understand you the job it. police officers have to do. But. There is no explanation. How can I understand? Because you you didn't don't even have ask the him. decency. You didn't even no, ask I'm him. asking you because you're the one that's making the report a problem stating it. I'm going to the store. I don't store. appreciate the way you approached me, the way you demanded information, the way I'm you're, not you're I'm stating based you. off of your, pro- I'm your, asking your you. position I'm asking in another you. agency, I'm asking whatever it you. may be. I mean, you have a business card with How credentials. Times? I don't know you. I just met you a minute ago. You have no I- official so identification. Louis, you know Louis, what's his name, Schmaradovsky? What does that have to do with anything? Well, I'm just telling you who I am. I've been in the town for 20 That's years, fine. and as a courtesy... I would like to understand the rationale for their being pulled over and their car confiscated. This is a courtesy. I don't know why it's I, difficult. I believe you, know you should ask your daughter you and the driver of the motor my vehicle. My daughter is a backseat passenger, as you've exactly. said. You're making the accusation. I would like to know. What accusation? The accusation of I don't know what. You haven't told me. You're telling me to go Monday and read the report. No, that's when not these what kids, you said. You said ask them. It's not they, it's not them. I'm not going to ask the driver what you are accusing them of wrongdoing. I'm asking you because you're the source of the accusation. They are not the source, you're the source. So I'm trying to go to the source. If you want me to go to their side of the story, I I will. But I will do that. I think it's the best thing at this point. You know what? 
I'm very disappointed in the way the two of you are acting. You cannot even tell me a mother living in Tenafly for 20 years with two kids who went through the school system, what the problem is. And that's shocking. It's shocking that you can't well, even give me a sense. I think no. we should so conclude this, piece, this. I will Just for safety absolutely. reasons, this is a high-speed road. I think we should all get off of the road. It's you a little bit dangerous for us being so out here sorry. as long as we were Thank anyway. Thank you for your concern with my safety. Okay. I don't need it. You can't put a sentence together? Sorry. Okay. That's pathetic. Okay. And you are a disappointment. And you are just following him. So you are also a disappointment. Okay. You can't put together a sentence okay. of what the are, problem is. Are you finished is. now? Are you finished, ma'am? I'm shocked. Are I'm shocked and very okay. disappointed. You, you Thank may, you, you may for your take help. Them. You may okay. take them now. You may not tell me when to take my child. You may shut the up and not tell me when I may take my kids and her friends okay. who are PhD students from MIT and Yale. Okay. You may tell me nothing because you told me nothing. Shame on both of you. Okay. I will be talking to the chief of police Please. and I will be speaking to the mayor. Badge number 540. Not, I got your name. I got your name. Just to make sure there's I know no discrepancies. The act, I, there's no dis Matt is the first no, name. No. Don't you worry. As long as you got all the information right. I got all your information, okay. sweetheart. You can't put a sentence together. That's shameful. Okay. That's okay. shameful. Have a pleasant uh, weekend. You have a wonderful right. weekend. You're going to be Look how long that went on and how patient that 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 they were being with with that that white lady and the the um the, what the what what they call it a um port port authority of police or some shit yeah she's a commissioner of port authority for New Jersey and okay. so yeah you know wh whatever like at that point when you're raising your hands and all this other stuff like that You'll never see no white woman disrobed. A white woman will never be shamed for what she decided to wear when she left the house because she won't be disrobed by white officers. They're going to sit there and back up as she approaches them. Like She could have quickly pulled out a knife and stabbed him. He wasn't... He wasn't taking control of the situation. He was kind of being real, real bitchy about it. Like... If anything, that's that's the same kind of sentiment. And this was a non-drunk lady, so now you have a drunk person that's sitting. Yeah. This person was standing up loud. Being you, you even admitted that you were uncomfortable. Now, had this been a black man, a black woman, any one of those combinations, this could have been a real bad situation. Acting like that. Totally, man. We wouldn't have walked away from that unscathed or unthrown on the ground or, or, or you know, any of that. We would have been hurt. Yeah, it's, and, and then that just goes into, you know, white privilege, you know, that we we contentiously dance around, you know, the issue or just the subject uh, matter for this country, man. Like, clearly in this video, we just watched this woman get irate, belligerent, um, degrade and um, just put these two young officers down all because you know I guess due to the law they're not allowed to disclose certain information which is true and at the same time no matter what her ranking was or if she saw herself as a high ranking official it did not give her the right to get the information that she so desired that she didn't get from anyway I can even remember, bro, it was a video in Texas where um, uh, a black boy had threw something in another neighbor's yard and, uh, and the white neighbor ended up calling the police. And the police came and they actually ended up arresting the mother because the mother was trying to find out why did the neighbor do something to her son after he threw garbage in her yard. Why didn't he just come talk to her? Why did he have to take actions into his own hand and do that? And they ended up arresting not only the mother, but also her daughter as well. So in this clay case, clearly within eight minutes, this woman was able to f flop off at the side of her neck. But like we just saw before that, you know, old girl was just simply trying to find out what was going on, get some explanations, explain herself, and 
she ended up being this road, man. So it's uh it's another reality, man, that we face here, man, in this country on a daily basis, man. Daily basis. So y'all y'all need to be aware, you know. Let's let's um let's not forget this. You know, um definitely um let's let's just try to keep everything just just on the up and up with this. You know, we, we wish her the best. As you can see, there's a severe difference in how white officers treat white versus black women completely. So, yeah. Yeah. So we got to go on to the next thing, yo. Um, now, there was something real interesting that I seen earlier and, then, uh, you know, my brother brought it up to me just now, you know, shortly before. And I was like, yeah, let's let's talk about this. So apparently, you know, there's some type of AI church that's going to have some type of AI God. Now, I am saying AI is an artificial intelligence, just in case this comes across bad on the recording. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's exactly as it sounds. It is intelligence that is not real. It is intelligence that isn't created. And this intelligence is expected to lead groups and, and a whole bunch of people. You know, so um, it's an interesting thing. Did, did you have anything you want to talk about? Um, you know, just with the whole AI thing, man, uh, I can remember, you know, reading a few articles, seeing a few videos talking about how Google itself had developed an AI and the AI developed its own language and it started communicating with other, you know, robots and other devices. And they quickly pulled the plug on that operation because they didn't know how far it went, or at least that's what they told us that they pulled the plug on the operation. So by this, I guess, surfacing up, you know, in media or in the latest news, this only gives me reason to believe that maybe that experiment is still ongoing and that this is just their way of letting us know what has already occurred or what is about to occur in a certain sense, man. So this AI shit is a trip. In my opinion, nothing good can come from this, but, uh, <laughs> We have no control. We're just on this ship until we see what course it takes, man. Totally agree with you. It's definitely one of those situations to where where you realize that um you know, you just got to you got to see where where this thing goes. I mean, I know I'm not going to follow it, so fuck no. You know, it is what it is. Those who want to follow some type of robot, some type of shit like that, you know, those, those are going to probably be the ones that we could do without. I'm just going to be real. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I yeah. see that, boy. Yeah. We'll need those guys. Those guys go follow the fucking robot and let the robot tell them what to do. I mean, the robot's going to teach other robots, and eventually you won't be necessary. Why would a robot love you? Why? Don't love a robot. Them sex dolls, man. They lured y'all in with that shit, man. Put that virtual payow down, man. <laughs> the virtual payow. <laughs> Some of that virtual putang. <laughs> Il na na. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nasty, man. Oh, we're fucking fucking plastic and shit like that it's disgusting like don't do that don't do that get away from that it's a setup, man don't fall for it that's how they're gonna get y'all praying to them AI guys man they send in the sex robots we we're seeing where all this shit is going man it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy so prepare yourself stay mentally strong and don't get caught up by the Let's just go ahead before we even just finalize. I'm saying about to close the shit out. Let's 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 check out a clip about it so you don't think we bullshitting you. You know what I mean? Like, see what they're talking about here.
Deus Ex Machina, former Google engineer is developing an AI god. Way of the Future, a religious group founded by Anthony Lewandowski, wants to create a deity based on artificial intelligence for the betterment of society. Intranet service? Check. Autonomous motorcycle? Check. Driverless car technology? Check. Obviously the next logical project for a successful Silicon Valley engineer is to set up an AI-worshipping religious organization. Anthony Livanovsky, who is at the center of a legal battle between Uber and Google's Waymo, has established a non-profit religious corporation called Way of the Future, according to state filings first uncovered by Wired's back channel. Way of the Future's startling mission to develop and promote the realization of a Godhead based on artificial intelligence and through understanding and worship of a Godhead contribute to the betterment of society. Elon Musk says AI could lead to Third World War. Read more. Livanovsky was co-founder of autonomous trucking company Auto, which Uber bought in 2016. He was fired from Uber in May amid allegations that he'd stolen trade secrets from Google to develop Otto's self-driving technology. He must be grateful for this religious fallback project, first registered in 2015. The Way of the Future team did not respond to requests for more information about their proposed benevolent AI overlord, but history tells us that new technologies and scientific discoveries have continually shaped religion killing old gods and giving birth to new ones. As author Yuval Noah Harari notes, that is why agricultural deities were different from hunter-gatherer spirits, why factory hands and peasants fantasized about different paradises, and why the revolutionary technologies of the 21st century are far more likely to spawn unprecedented religious movements than to revive medieval creeds. Religions Harari argues, must keep up with the technological advancements of the day or they become irrelevant, unable to answer or understand the quandaries facing their disciples. The Church does a terrible job of reaching out to Silicon Valley types, acknowledges Christopher Benek a pastor in Florida and founding chair of the Christian Transhumanist Association. Silicon Valley, meanwhile, has sought solace in technology and has developed quasi-religious concepts including the singularity, the hypothesis that machines will eventually be so smart that they will outperform all human capabilities, leading to a superhuman intelligence that will be so sophisticated it will be incomprehensible to our tiny fleshy, rational brains. For futurists like Ray Kurzweil, this means we'll be able to upload copies of our brains to these machines, leading to digital immortality. Others like Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking warn that such systems pose an existential threat to humanity. With artificial intelligence we are summoning the demon, Musk said at a conference in 2014. In all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, it's like, yeah, he's sure he can control the demon. Doesn't work out. Ben Eck argues that an AI godhead is compatible with Christianity. It's just another technology that humans have created under guidance from God that can be used for good or evil. I totally think that AI can participate in Christ's redemptive purposes, he said, by ensuring it is embedded with Christian values. Even if people don't buy our organized religion, they can buy and to do unto others. For transhumanist and recovering Catholic Zoltanistven, religion and science converge conceptually in the singularity. God if it exists as the most powerful of all singularities, has certainly already become pure organized intelligence, he said, referring to an intelligence that spans the universe through subatomic manipulation of physics. And perhaps, there are other forms of intelligence more complicated than that which already exists and which already permeate our entire existence. Talk about ghost in the machine, he added. For Ishvan. An AI-based God is likely to be more rational and more attractive than current concepts, the Bible is a sadistic book, and, he added, this God will actually exist and hopefully will do things for us. We don't know whether Livanovsky's Godhead ties into any existing theologies or is a man-made alternative, but it's clear that advancements in technologies including AI and bioengineering kick up the kinds of ethical and moral dilemmas that make humans seek the advice and comfort from a higher power, what will humans do once artificial intelligence outperforms us in most tasks? 
How will society be affected by the ability to create super smart, athletic designer babies that only the rich can afford? Should a driverless car kill five pedestrians or swerve to the side to kill the owner? If traditional religions don't have the answer, AI- or at least the promise of AI- might be alluring. Some trippy shit, dog. Wow, like that's scary as fuck. I'll tell you right now. Um, you know, I already knew what it was gonna say, but I'll watching it again just kind of had me like, whoa. So that was that was, mm, yeah, like I robot. That's all I can say. I robot. Yeah, I robot, man. I mean, it's funny that they mentioned that all right this is ai so this is essentially a god or an entity that has to be created by man now we've always known that science and religion have always been against each other since the beginning of time yeah science defines everything that we can see touch smell sense in the physical aspect of things religion yeah. you're taught to believe things in the spiritual or supernatural side of things some things cannot be explained which are the supernatural that's why it is the supernatural mm -hmm. and science is the definition of explaining things so essentially if you look at all religions man did not create God God created man Yeah. what created God Damn sure it wasn't man. Mm -hmm. So how is man going to create AI and AI is going to be a god and it's going to become so powerful to the fact that we're just going to ignore every other type of religious artifact or just any type of scriptures or hieroglyphics, anything that has to do with, you know, the aspect or the understanding of God. We're supposed to just omit all that and now get down with this new program, dog. Nah, man, it's this is not the way, dog. Not the way. It's horrible, man. It's like it's like why? You know why? Why even? You know I don't know. I'm like this is just some bullshit. Like what do you? Why who who sits there at home and? Thinks about doing some shit like this. Like, whoever you are, you need to be devoting that attention to something that'll save some lives as opposed to trying to control people and make a better religion so you can find a way to monetize it. Like, change your ambition. That's all I can really say about it. Just change your ambition. You know, yeah. it's a wasted opportunity what you're doing. That. That there's uh, <laughs> I, mean, I agree with you on that 100 percent, man. If I took that same type of drive and initiative, and tried to think of ways to save the planet or you know do something else, then I'd be more useful, man. This right here is it's not necessary, man. No, nobody asked for this, but at the same token. It is what it is. We um, you know, be aware of that that they're actually out there building a robot god. So just be aware, you know, put it in your calendars. And um, we're gonna move on to the next subject. Unless you got something else you want to say about this one. Ah, uh, I'm I'm pooped on this, dog. Pooped on it. Yeah. Pooped on the robot. Poop. <laughs> so let's see. Um. What else? Uh, let's talk about that. Uh, let's talk about that. Uh, J. Cole album. I think we might. Uh, this might be the the final one before our final word, and you know, um, 
things that everybody looking forward to. I like I like sections like that, so we'll talk about that after that. But let's let's talk about this J. Cole album now. Shit dropped on 420, the most epic day of all days. The day that at 420 p.m. some guy and his friends used to meet up in the woods and they'd smoke and they do that every day around that time. Well, those same guys grew up and they couldn't do it every day around that time no more. They probably had to say, hey, we're going to have to do this once a month. And that time came 420. And they decided to share that time with us. And the Ganja guys decided to make that day Friday. And it was just the ultimate day for you to chief. You were off on Saturday if you're part of the normal working class. And you were able to enjoy yourself. Fully and uninhibited. So, um, before we get into it, man, uh, you know, anything you want to say about the J. Cole album, man? Oh, man, you know, uh, like you said, it dropped on 420. You know, that's vibes automatically. You know, yeah. the Ganja Gods definitely sent their positive healing vibrations to us on that day. It was definitely felt, man, and, you know, just a lot of positivity, mellowing out. Enjoying the sweet, sweet ganja. Yeah. And just uh just enjoying that man. So with that being said, J. Cole to release an album on that day. Let's let's digest, man. Let's digest. You know, first off, it reminded me the same way I felt about Kevin Gates before I started hearing him all over the radio. Like there's at one point I think I just didn't press anything on YouTube and videos of Kevin Gates was rapping. And at first I was like, oh, shit, it's just rocking. It's just rocking. And then after a while, I was like, oh, he's a rapping ass nigga. Oh, my God. He's just rapping and rapping and rapping. Where's the chorus? Where where is the song? (laughs) How do we dance to this? You know, I started to get angry and upset and confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that's how I felt when I when I was listening to Kevin Gates at first. And then, uh, you know, on the radio, by the time I hit the radio, he had it all smoothed out. He knew, knew you know, the two phones. He started getting the melodicness and understood the whole concept of songs. You could, you could tell somebody pulled him to the side and said, look, nigga, you a rapping ass nigga, but if you open some choruses on these shits. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, um, when it comes to this J. Cole album, I could I could really feel like, you know, in the midst of, you know, shout out to Kendrick for getting the Pulitzer. I think I said it right. Pulitzer? Pulitzer, Pulitzer, Pulitzer. Pulitzer. Yeah, that, that shit them P's, that man. nobody else ever got before as a rapper. Kendrick put it down. That's that's one for the culture. We happy about that. That's great. So in the midst of us celebrating this victory, we also said, okay, what about the other counterpart? What about the Batman to his Robin? Or no, better yet, what about the Joker to his Batman? The Dr. Octopus to his Spider-Man? The fucking... Dr. Robotnik to Sonic. Oh, good one. The Dr. Robotnik to his Sonic. J. Cole. What what is J. Cole got going on? J. Cole drops this joint called KOD. So first off, the cover is trippy as fuck. You don't know whether he you know, he clearly says, says this isn't condoning drug abuse or anything like that. But you still can't help but get the vibe that it's some type of piece of art on the cover. So I did appreciate the cover, but let's dig into the actual C D, the meat and potatoes of the whole shit. You know, the first, the opening is like a little typical little intro, I think, or some shit like that. I think we had a track list over here. Let's just go to the track list real quick. So the intro was K.O.D., some old rapping ass shit. Yep. You know, then he goes right into K.O.D., the song, which was some old rapping ass shit. No, no quotables in my mind. You know what I mean? Um, photograph, lyrics, I don't know what that is. See, all these songs have all these that mo- motivate with an eight spell. So, okay. Motivate. Kevin's heart. I didn't even know this nigga had a, I listened to the whole, uh, okay, I don't think, we, we didn't say enough. I don't think you guys understand. 420, we gave this dude the treatment. We gave him the treatment. No homo. Pause. All that good shit. We 
literally sat here and listened to it in its entirety in one sitting while smoking some good ganja. You know, my, my homeboy came through with the primo. I was in a whole nother zone, so that's that's a whole nother story. But my brother came through with the primo. <laughs> that you know, primo. The primo, that fucking amazing good shit. So we were we were already primed and ready to receive some of the best lyrics, some of the best hot shit. And it just didn't go down that way. Yeah, like I mean, this project here, I see I see what he's doing with it. He's um kinda touching a little bit off of four four four, but not with the sense of building wealth or building dynasties that last long. It's just more so kind of explaining the times. Um, I've seen from time to time uh, artists take this route in this direction and it's it's needed. It's, it's for their growth and development. It shows, you know, how they progress as an artist and this album to me, it seems like it's one of those albums that you would go back and play like later on. But like right now, you know, this is this is still a lot to digest, man. So I'm of course I'm gonna give it another listen, man, you know. Four twenty I was expected some you know, some chill, some vibe shit. This is this is like on, you know, storytelling. So, you know, big ups to Cole, man, for taking that diversity, man. KOD is um, it's an album that it's just it's abstract. It's abstract, man. Abstract. I personally don't think that it's one of my favorites. It's it's too early to tell, and I don't, and even later on, I don't think I'll still say that this is a favorite of mine. But there has been previous projects that he's put out that I like, you know, versus this more yeah. so. So, that's my take on it, bro. I totally agree with you, bro. It's it's really just one of those situations to where you was expecting some gold and, and you kind of got, got some silver and a little, a little bit of gold chips in there. But, you know, for the most part, you know, you, you could chuck the whole thing and not feel too bad about it. Um, You know, I think you need to, I don't know, like... There's just too much going on musically for you to be just coming at them with nothing but bars. You gotta, you gotta still rope them in, like, you know. I, I mean, like, I, I give you credit for for putting out, you know, some of that old school hip hop vibe shit, but you know, still just just kind of rope them in with a little more song, man. You know, was, we should have been one or two tracks people could have danced to on there, and I ain't hear no tracks, so don't expect this to get... If they're playing this into the, in the club, then it's not the, the club you want to be in. So, um, J. Cole, get it together, man. This shit was not flames. You drop some shit on 420, and we give you the, the, the whole listening to like like this was a listening party type shit. My weed provided. My brother's weed provided. My homeboy's weed provided. Like Damn homeboys weed provided. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's crazy, like really crazy. Yeah, um anyway, just closing on J. Cole. We're going to go ahead and just let that be. And we don't ever have to listen to that particular track ever again. Um, Right now, we're going to go ahead and close out this podcast, y'all. We, we done ran it pretty long. It's been um, approaching an hour. And um, it's been fun. You know what? It, it, any any uh, special plans this week, man? Anything special going on for you? Oh, man. Uh, you know, it's weekend i hear the weather's supposed to be nice so that's good man we've been getting a lot of rain lately in uh ga but that's both su- supposedly how it's supposed to be you know april showers bring may flowers so you know getting towards the end of this april i feel that it should be a good weekend man totally. lots of weed lots of drink ah. yeah, yeah man 
Hell yeah. Lots of weed, lots of drink. That's what's going on this weekend. Um Yeah, I mean uh me personally, um today for me is uh Wednesday. This will probably be hitting online soon after. And um yeah, I'm just 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 chilling, man. I'm excited about life. You know, I'm off doing what I want to do as far as like podcasting and just getting out there to the people, getting the opinion out there. You know, on here with my brother, we on here just just really just vibing, man. You know, and and it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing that we we're getting this shit done. So. That's all I really want to say about it, man. Anything you want to say to the world before we before we sign out, man? It's hard right if I end off with a quick melody, man. Yeah, go ahead, man. End it, end it with a quick melody, man. Probably gonna end up turning this into a song, man. But uh, I can stop smoking weed if I wanted to. <laughs> Look at all the beautiful greens and purples. Call my homies to come roll up with me. Tell them they can bring some freaks. They can bring the drinks. We gonna keep it smoking. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, that's that's a track right there. Trademarked already, bitches. Don't steal it. Don't steal it. You steal it. Cutting you. We gonna cut this out the cast anyway. Y'all not get that. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> Yo, I get that. Nah, man. It's too hot, yeah. Nah, fuck that. Y'all can't have that. I might even just play a sad you can't have that. Yeah. Just to let just to let you know that the shit ain't a game, man. You can't have it just yet. It'll come soon, but you can't have it just yet. I'm doing big things this year. LGP still on the map. Still, let's get paid. So, LGP. That being said, welcome to the Let's Get Paid podcast. I hope you enjoyed yourself. You know what I mean. Um, stay safe. You know what I mean. Love, love your family. Take care of your family. You know, grind to get this money. Let's do entrepreneurship this year. Everybody, I want to see more black entrepreneurs. You know, if you got restaurants and stuff like that. I want to come check you out. You know what I mean? If you're in the Atlanta area, you got a restaurant going on, let me know. I'll come through and check you out, give you a nice review of the food swing, and, and um, I'll fuck with you. You know, let's let's support black-owned business. I'm down. I'm down. That's 100%. Love, respect. Black-owned businesses. want to see more of that. And y'all support black-owned businesses. And black-owned businesses... You treat your black created customers correctly. That's another thing. Like, I understand, like, you know, I'm pre- I don't know how, how the industry side is going for the business. I don't know what, what your cut is versus other people's cuts. And I don't know if you're able to get into the nooks that other people are squeezing through. But my whole point is this right here. Understand that part of the reason why you know a lot of people don't really fuck with businesses you know black businesses like that is because it's just like you know it's most of it's ignorance and stuff like that but at the end of the day you gotta you gotta meet that customer you know you gotta meet that customer halfway you know we come in and be curious or whatever put on put on your put on your best shit put on like we we gonna really use yo and and that's another thing like let's let's go ahead and um Let's go ahead and start really uniting on that, you know, like if a restaurant gives you bad service, you know, go to Yelp and and put a review. Let other customers know. Yelp that ass. Yelp that motherfucking ass, yo, because like we're we're also going to probably start some segments in the future. This is just future plans. We're going to call this little little part future plans. Future plans is we're going to have food in Atlanta, you know what I mean? Food in Atlanta. That's the shit that, I mean, matter of fact, that's not even finna make it. I wish I could just put like a big beep noise. I think I'm going to put a beep noise over everything that I'm saying just to let you know I got future plans that I'm not letting you know about. Not now. Not now. Not until it's out and it's popping. When it's out and it's popping, you're going to be like, okay, this is what this nigga was working on. You know what I mean? But other than that, you know. 
we we done had a good time um closing out i just want to say shout outs to lgp shout outs to lgp and shout outs to lgp and i can't forget lgp so uh, all of them all of them <laughs> all five of them <laughs> Yeah, it's so, uh, but yeah, well, anything you want to close out with, man? Oh, man, you know, I just got to give a shout out to LGP, man. You okay. know, uh, can't forget about LGP, man. Yeah, and, there you uh, go, dog. Most importantly, man, got to shout out LGP. So, Hell yeah. <laughs> just let them know, man. Just let's get paid. Let's get paid. That is the motherfucking motive. You know what I mean? We're going to have some t shirts soon. That's something I can't let you know without a bleep. So look forward to some t shirts. You know, my boy, uh, fucking brother right here, be dropping some of the best, the best t-shirts. So, so just look out for some of his killer collaborations coming in the future. We'll keep you up to, up to date and up the breast on those things. And for the ladies, LGP will be up on your breasts, on the t-shirts, of course. Ha <laughs> yes, yes. Nothing more beautiful than LGP cross those titties. Clavage. <laughs> Uh, don't hurt me, Gina. Don't hurt me. All right. Anyway, guys, um, let's have a good one, and we'll see you guys next time. We have some shit to talk about. Peace. Y'all. Peace.